First off, in this block of indie game exhibits, Legend of Moros. Legend of Moros is made uh, in RPG Maker. Uh, it's a retro style RPG. The combat is turn based, uh, but there's uh, apparently a lot of differences that will set this RPG apart from the other turn based RPGs. There's a lot of side quests. There's actually a crafting system in this, which is kind of interesting. Um, and basically, so I guess you fight monsters and you uh, can pick up parts of them, use those parts to craft various different items to help you on your journey. Um, let's see, there are 12 different characters that you can have on your journey or that you can have join you. Uh, they don't have to be, but uh, you can essentially, between all the characters, in, including your own character that you make, which doesn't even have to be a part of the uh, the main, I guess, group of people that you can play with. There's over a thousand different uh, potential party combinations. Wow. You know, so you can play it however you'd like. Uh, there's a really good storyline, dramatic and humorous all at the same time. And of course, uh, the side quests will, will add to that. They're not just randomized side quests just to keep you busy, which is always nice. I, I always thought it was kind of annoying when there's side quests that are just there as busy work. Like, yeah. you know, what's, the, mm-hmm. what's the really point? Um, they and, do and use it, original assets, by yeah, the way. Good. Every, everything's original. Um, uh, it, it's really easy in RPG Maker to just sort of be like, oh, I'm just going to use this pack. But like they've gone the extra mile and, and have you know created their own uh, tile sets for everything. They, they're also not using the, the stock RPG Maker um, system, as you can probably tell from the video that we're showing. Uh, their combat system is, you know, is different. Uh, all of their, you know, assets are you know, completely their own. They, they've put a lot of time into this. And to talk about the combat system, because that's what they're really kind of, yeah. uh, what's the good word, flouting. Yeah. Um, the combat, it's basically, they say it's based on a, an unusual stamina system. This is their words. Um, so as opposed to games where spellcasters use MP and everyone else just attacks, stamina is consumed by a character whenever they uh, use a skill or a spell. So um, everyone has like a limited... Uh, it actually, actually kind of reminds me of Pokemon with the PP. Yeah, kind of like that. A little bit. Only it's a little, I think it's a little bit more like fluid mm-hmm. because different because you know PP was very straightforward, whereas this is a little bit more detailed, has a little bit more depth to it. Right. So on top of all, you know, the the heavy customization of your party with all the different combinations you can do, and then the uh, the different kind of combat system that makes it it does make it a different kind of RPG. Uh, yeah. It is available on Itch.io right now. All right. Let me link you in the chat, people. <laughs> Fluid PP. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. In the chat. Fluid PP. Dang it. I didn't even <laughs> realize it. Oh, uh, you said doo-doo. <laughs> Duty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, is, uh, it is on Itch.io, and I believe it is pay you what you want. So it's actually free, I believe. Um, however, uh, I always encourage you to, to give money if you can. Uh, it is also currently on Steam Greenlight. Steam Greenlight, uh, you know, support your dev, get on Greenlight yeah. if you like it. Although we are pretty, I, I would say that as Indie Game Riot is concerned, I would say that if you are legitimately not interested, don't vote. Like, yeah. we don't like that whole... Steam oh, yeah, Greenlight just because yeah no. popularity vote if, if it's not if good if you like it if you think it's something that's that's interesting to you right. definitely go go check it out another thing that you were probably going to want to go check out is from uh, Latani L- Latana Games uh, called Mondorian Abstraction in Beauty Mondrian Mondrian Mon there is no O after that R <laughs> you're right uh, so let's get some gameplay footage of that going. All right, and I've also got a couple of keys here to give away. All right. So go ahead. And talk uh, about now it. this is a uh, this is a puzzle game in uh, like like a spherical puzzle game. You're moving around the different um, uh, the different levels change depending on um, on uh, it, the, the level changes. The puzzles sort of change up, and you have a lot of uh, different options to. Um, not uh, not options, but you know the the puzzles aren't always the same. Like there are some games that you might uh, l- you might look at this and think, oh well, this looks like that game or this looks like that game. It's um it, it's a lot more in in depth. It, it, do you understand what I'm saying, Josh? Yeah, 
<laughs> I, get, I was actually I was actually trying to talk do to someone. A, do a, oh, okay. Yeah, just leave me hanging like that. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, Mondrian uh, is currently on uh, Itch.io. It is uh, for sale. Let me see. Get to the Itch.io page here. It's, it's currently sort of for like, sale for six ninety nine. Uh, it's it's sort of like the um like the the pong style game as well, where you're trying to like bounce and shoot and hit. And... According <laughs> according to their description, Itchio, there are forty million levels of relaxation. Okay. Uh, so it's a bo- yeah, it's a it's a block breaking game. So it actually, what's that called? It's not pong, uh, but the um, yeah, the other a block breaking game. Breakout. I Breakout. Think it's called. Breakout style. Uh, it uses it utilizes all 360 degrees, so uh, you're not just kind of going the up and down. You're going all over the place. Right. Uh, so, th- just like a block breaking game, there are paddles, balls, power ups, screen effects. Um, but it is dynamically generated, so you'll never get the same level 100 percent alike. Which is there awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. It looks and really yeah. awesome. The the, the art style is is pixelated, but it's just pixelated enough. Uh, the motion's very fluid. Everything's really cool. You're uh, right. It is by it is by Danny Silvers. If you remember, uh, we talked to them before about uh, wasn't it was uh, oh the, it was the one that was like in the colonial setting. Oh. It was like a stealth game. Um, for some, I can't think of it for some reason. I should know it though. Yeah. Oh 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 um, like something Liberty. Oh yeah, Children of Liberty. Children Thank of you. Liberty. That's right. Um, and you can also put it on uh, night mode, windowed resolutions. There's all kinds of different things that help yeah. you play. So uh, it's it makes it more accessible to everyone. Yeah. Uh, and you can adjust the game speeds if it's getting too hard or something like that. And there's uh, just to throw in there some inspirational quotes by Piet Mondrian, which is hence the name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so moving on from Mondrian. Uh, we've got a game that I can't pronounce. What? Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I don't know the first word, but Dusk of the Dragon. We're just going to go. Okay, D- Dusk of the Dragon. Uh, so let's get some gameplay footage of that up. Real, real quick, uh, Omar, Kosh, and Dean, Razavi, you have uh, won copies of uh, Mondrian Abstraction and Beauty. So I will get you those itch.io codes. Go ahead. So I actually don't know a whole lot about this game, Josh. I'm sorry to to make you uh, super busy, but I uh, what was this game? What was it? I can't I can't pronounce the. It's it's a. Uh, Dusk of Dragons. Is it, it the? It's it's a, uh, Drek Hirorker. I don't know how to pronounce. Yeah, it's Drek. We'll try it. We'll try and butcher this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna completely screw it up. Yeah. Uh, Drakir Oker. Drakir Oker. We'll just go with Drakir that. Dusk Oker. of the Dragon. Dusk of the Dragon. This is a um, RPG? Yeah. Well, it's it's uh, it's an, I don't know. It's an adventure, adventure. game. I guess. <laughs> it's part of the, okay. One, I think maybe if we have time, we will do a, uh, a press tips panel. Yeah. Because some 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 of the websites need to we have some tips to get you uh, some better <laughs> help for te- for press to get uh, more interested. In this game looks stuff. great, by the way. It, it looks At- cool. atmospherically too mm-hmm. for such a simple game. It it really sells it. Yeah, um, but anyway, let me let's give you kind of a synopsis. Uh, altered by human stupidity, natural order simply vanished. A fantastic as fantastic dreams like magical capabilities and teleportation were made possible. Our worst nightmares were also breeded. Warlike investigations also were at people's minds. So bizarre creatures created were. I'm not sure if this was originally in English because that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to forego that. (laughs) So press tip. Make sure it's translated correctly. (laughs) <laughs> I know I know we're ragging on this game a lot, but it, it, it really does. No, look... I'm not ragging on the game. I'm no, that, ragging that's on the true. website. Um, <laughs> and uh, so so it's a standard uh, sort of turn based uh, combat system where, you know, there are a lot of different you know elements. You have LP, CP and MP. Uh, <laughs> I think Basically, I think it's life it's, points, I think it's, magic it's, points. It's, and there's um, more tactical too. Yeah, it, it, it is more of a tactical RPG. It's like a tactical adventure RPG. Yeah, yeah. We'll go and, with that. And, and what's really cool is that uh, 
all there there there's lots of animations both uh in and out of uh combat there's more adventuring some minor platforming that you're seeing here I, not necessarily platforming but you know being able to maneuver around different uh different um uh obstacles a lot easier than a lot of your standard rpgs it's like walk here walk there it adds a little bit more of a more depth to it uh this is by the way free really yeah <laughs> Then, then you have absolutely no reason not to at least check it out. Uh, Forever free, uh, as it says. Yeah. Let me go ahead and link this in the chat there. And uh, w one thing I think the the one thing that really impresses me with this is how they made the world kind of um, alive. It's constantly yeah. p time constantly passes. Um, you know, you don't ever feel like it's just a static game that you're just kind of stuck wandering yeah, around. Definitely. So, uh, and you know, there there's a a lot of yeah exactly there's a lot of stuff happening enemies are walking around uh random encounters aren't necessarily a thing you you actually know when you're going to be getting into a combat um the the art style is really cool uh i really like the the the, the fonts that they used it, it really fit, like you, you know when you look at something like a pixelated game and then you hit the pause menu and everything's like super crisp Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really match up. This feel, this game feels very um, not retro per se, but well, it is retro. I mean, well, it's well, yeah. SNES graphics, yeah, exactly. But but it, it really does a good job of having the whole experience, you know, feel uh, feel like cohesive. Right. Gotcha. Uh, so the second or the last game of this block as uh, we finish very early once again. Right. I think, I think next, well, one thing to learn for next year is uh, at least now we have a feel of how long, how these, long these things go. These, go, these uh, game box can go, which means we need more panels though. So keep that in mind for next year. Anyway, the last one is Skyhook. Uh, one and of my you're personal really, favorites. You're really excited. You, you saw this game at uh, Indicate East. Indicate East. One of my personal favorites uh, from, from this uh, from the expo so far is Skyhook. It's a really cool multiplayer arena battle. They're kind of, you know, in the same style of like Smash Brothers and all that stuff as far as when I'm saying arena. Um, but the, the cool thing about it is that you're only using uh, grappling hooks. All the different characters using grappling hooks to first of all, like you can jump and swing off of things, uh, but you're using grappling hooks to hit people and pull people uh, and try and throw them down into the, you know, the crevices and, and hit them with all that sort of stuff. Uh, I also have some codes for Skyhook, a couple of them. Awesome. So, uh, have so, you... Go what's ahead. that? Go ahead. I what, gotta put the saying? thing... Oh, okay. Uh, so, so as you can see with the, um, with the gameplay footage playing right now, uh, this is a sort of team-based 2v2 match where, uh, you know, each character is different and has, has a unique, um, sort of graphic. You have a, uh, uh, a heart reservoir and every single time you die you lose that so you can only die so many times which is how you know you win i i also assume that there is a free-for-all mode uh different gameplay modes as well josh yeah different gameplay modes um similar to like i always compare it to smash brothers because of you know that's like the most popular yeah. arena brawler. but but it's a very interesting mechanic especially now that you see uh the the one red guy is in the, uh, what's it called? In inside the little cannon. Oh yeah, yeah. Jar thing. That's the that's the that is actually you're right. I forgot about that. One other one other weapon that you can use. You're in kind of a uh, a, a cannon like airship. Yeah. So you can actually blast people with cannons. And then there are also uh, uh, different environmental things that you can pick up from chests to right. like send meteors down, like we saw earlier. This game, uh, this game too, is one of the games that. Uh, actually makes me feel like a badass yeah <laughs> when i'm playing it because you know you're talking like batman kind of badass because yeah. you can use your grappling hook and just oh i just almost died like you know what i mean like if you're the shark dude the tip of your fin's like about to go off screen but then you save yourself last minute because you grappled <laughs> one thing though is like you get uh sometimes especially if you're not used to the controls you can like grapple to the side of something and stick there, but then you, but like, then you slide down. No, no, you don't. You, you can hold there. Okay. But then you have to figure out how you're going to get back up. Like you can either like, you're either going to let go and fall or 
you're going to have to like find something else to grapple onto. But at the same time, you can't really angle it. Yeah. You and know then what I mean? you have to deal with all the enemies trying to kill you. But yeah, and then everyone's trying to just like, <laughs> like stomping yeah. on your fingers if you're holding on whatever. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool, uh, really cool multiplayer game. Something to play with your friends. And uh, I have two codes for that. So, awesome. And there's a lot of you in the chat. You guys want Skyhook? I really, 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 really suggest it. All you got to do is click, click the yes button. That's all you got to do. Yeah, click so the yes, that. hit enter, and then we will be choosing somebody live to win Skyhook. 